Fundamental Operations with Real Numbers The concept of the absolute value of a real number is important to signed numbers. Signed numbers are numbers which are preceded by plus or minus sign. A number that has no sign is understood to be positive. The absolute value of a real number x, denoted by this, is defined as absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than 0 or if x is positive. The absolute value of x is negative x if x is lesser than 0 or if x is negative. And the absolute value of x is 0 if x is equal to 0. According to the definition, the absolute value of any non-zero number is always positive. For example, the absolute value of 4 is 4, the absolute value of negative 4 is 4, and the absolute value of 0 is 0. Rules governing the operations on signed numbers The operation on the set of real numbers is governed by the following rules. Rule number 1. To add two real numbers with like signs, add their absolute values and prefix the common sign. For example, 5 plus 10, the common sign is positive. So the absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of 10, that's 5 plus 10, is equal to 15. Another example, we have negative 5 plus negative 10. First, we have to add their absolute values. The absolute value of negative 5 plus the absolute value of negative 10. And we have to prefix the common sign which is the minus sign or the negative sign. We have negative times the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 plus the absolute value of negative 10 is 10. We have the final answer, negative 15. Next, we have negative 23 plus negative 8. So first, we have to add their absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 23 plus the absolute value of negative 8. And we have to prefix the common sign, which is the negative sign. Negative 23 plus 8, we have negative 31. Rule number 2. To add two real numbers with unlike signs, subtract the smaller absolute value from the bigger absolute value and prefix the sign as that of the bigger absolute value. 8 plus negative 11. Based on the given values, negative 11 has the greater or bigger absolute value. So we're going to subtract the absolute value of negative 11 by the absolute value of 8. The absolute value of negative 11 is 11 minus the absolute value of 8 is 8. And we have to prefix the sign of the bigger absolute value. Since negative 11 has the bigger absolute value and its sign is negative, we have to prefix the negative sign. Simplifying the equation, we have 8 plus negative 11 is equal to negative 3. Another example, negative 8 plus 11. The same process, we have to subtract the smaller absolute value from the bigger absolute value. We'll have the absolute value of 11 minus the absolute value of negative 8. And since 11 has the bigger absolute value and the sign of 11 is positive, so we have to prefix the sign positive. 11 minus 8 is 3. Another example, negative 25 plus 43. Again, we have to subtract the smaller absolute value from the bigger absolute value. That is, absolute value of 43 minus the absolute value of negative 25. 
since 43 has the bigger absolute value and the sign of the bigger absolute value is positive, we'll have 43 minus 25 is 18. Rule number 3. To subtract two real numbers with like signs, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to algebraic addition and apply rule 1 or 2. For example, 8 minus 15. First, we have to change the sign of the subtrahend. Our subtrahend here is 15. So since we have positive 15, we will change it into negative and proceed to addition. So we'll have 8 plus negative 15. Then we'll proceed to algebraic addition. Applying rule number 2, we'll have the absolute value of negative 15 minus the absolute value of 8. The sign of the bigger absolute value is negative. We will prefix the negative sign. So we'll have negative times 15 minus 8. So 8 minus 15 is equal to negative 7. Another example, negative 23 minus 15. We'll have negative 23 plus negative 15. Following rule number 1 for algebraic addition, we'll have the absolute value of negative 23 plus the absolute value of negative 15. And since the common sign is negative, we have to prefix the sign negative. So we'll have negative times 23 plus 15. The final answer is negative 38. Another example, negative 8 minus negative 15. So the first rule is we have to change the sign of the subtrahend. So negative 15 will become positive 15 and we'll proceed to addition. So we'll have negative 8 plus 15. Following rule number 2, we'll have the absolute value of 15 minus the absolute value of negative 8. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Another example, negative 8 minus 15. Negative 8 plus negative 15. Since negative 8 and negative 15 has the same sign, we have to apply rule number 1 for algebraic addition. The absolute value of negative 8 plus the absolute value of negative 15 and we have to prefix the common sign which is negative. So negative times 8 plus 15 is negative 23. Rule number 4. To multiply or divide two numbers having like signs, multiply or divide their absolute values and prefix a plus sign. For example, 8 times 2 is 16. Negative 8 times negative 2, since they have like signs, the answer is positive 16. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Negative 20 divided by 4, since they have the same sign, our answer is 5. Rule number 5. To multiply or divide two numbers having unlike signs, multiply or divide their absolute values and prefix a minus sign. For example, negative 8 times 2 will have negative 16. Negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. 20 divided by negative 4 is negative 5. 